The installation of the Vortex return air bulkhead by FG Products is pretty straightforward. It should take one guy about 15 minutes. Shipped from the factory, you'll have the return air bulkhead itself. And if you've ordered FG pallet stops, you'll receive two of these black pallet stops down here and then we'll also get a box of hardware. As detailed in the installation instructions, we want to mark out where the vertical posts are in the front wall of the trailer, as well as where the center of the refrigeration unit is. Each pallet stop has a tall section at the top and a shorter section at the bottom. We want to make sure that we have it in this arrangement when we place it against the front wall. We'll drop it down into the floor trough. And I'm going to pre-drill a hole into the vertical post of the front wall. I'm going to fasten it to the front post right in the center of the right pallet stop. complete the pallet stop installation, just make sure again that the outside bumper is centered on the vertical post, pre-drill, and then use the hardware provided. The mounting hardware for the Vortex comes in a little box. It includes two specialized mounting arms or brackets that will get mounted to the vertical posts inside the front wall. It also includes two short sections of E-Series logistics track. This will get mounted up at a predetermined location alongside the refrigeration unit for the Vortex strap to clip into. The installation instructions diagram the proper locations for these mounting arms and I've pre-marked their locations so I'm just going to go ahead and mount these to the front wall. Right above the mounting arm, I want to place the short section of track at a location here that I've already pre-marked. So I'm just going to drill this hole here and fasten this. Once all the hardware is firmly attached to the front wall, the next step is to finish the installation of the filter screen. This is extremely easy. All I'm going to do is take these metal tabs and fold them out. I'm going to pull this screen down over the top and I'm going to fold them back flat and just do that all the way across the bulkhead and the installation of the screen is done. Once the screen filter is in place, the final step will be to lift the vortex onto the mounting hardware that's on the front wall. I'm just going to lift the bulkhead into place. I'm going to reach into a hole that's here and find the mounting bracket. Push that on. Come over to the other side, do the exact same thing. Push the bulkhead slide it down into place. I'm going to clip the E-tracks into the front wall and then all I have to do is 
pull the strap which holds the bulkhead tight to the refrigeration unit. The installation of the Vortex is complete.